In this video, we will prove that the angle subtended by an arc at the center of the circle is double the angle subtended by that same arc at any point on the remaining circumference. In other words, if I call this angle A and this angle B, we are going to be proving that A is equal to 2B. To begin, let's draw a line from the center of the circle to the point at which angle B is formed. Notice that we form two separate triangles, and that these three lines are radii of the circle because they go from the center to a point on the circumference. Since both triangles have two side lengths of length r, they're both isosceles, and in an isosceles triangle, the angles opposite the sides of equal length are the same. So for this triangle, this angle and this angle are equal. Let's call the angle x. And for this triangle, this angle and this angle are equal. And let's call these angles y. The sum of the angles in a triangle is 180 degrees. So this angle must be 180 minus 2x, and this angle here must be 180 minus 2y. Now we can write the equation 180 minus 2x plus 180 minus 2y plus a equals 360. Because the angles around a point must always sum up to 360 degrees. Now to simplify this equation a little bit, 180 plus 180 is 360, so 360 minus 2x minus 2y equals 360. The 360s will cancel, and if you add 2x plus 2y to both sides, you get that a is equal to 2x plus 2y, and if you factor out the 2, you get that a is equal to 2 times x plus y. And from our figure, we can see that angle B is composed of angles x and y, so B is equal to x plus y, and so if we substitute B in for x plus y in our formula for A, we get that A is equal to 2B. And that's all there is to this proof.